So you're thinking about moving to Maple Valley? Or Covington? Well in this video we're going to do a comparison between Maple Valley and Covington. They're, they're touching each other, they're very close, but they're a little bit different. So we're going to compare the two. So if you're looking to learn more, stick around. We're going to get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know all there is to know about living in King County, Washington or places like Maple Valley and Covington, then hit the subscribe button, tap the bell for notifications. That way you can be the first to be notified of a new video of one of these locations or one of our other favorite locations here in King County. I'm Brad Decatur. This is Derek Decatur. We're the Decatur home team. We get calls, texts, and emails from people just like you every day who are looking to make their move to King County. So whether you're one day or one year away, we would love to help you make a smooth move. All the info is below, so feel free to reach out uh, to hop on a call, text, or Zoom to figure out your home search. So today we're doing the comparison. So yep. Maple Valley and Covington. I live in Maple Valley. Obviously, Covington's right next door. Mm -hmm. So Derek mm -hmm. lives in North Bend, so a little bit farther out. But mm -hmm. from an outsider's perspective, what sure. would you say is the main difference that you think? Well, first thing that comes to your head, Covington, Maple Valley. Well, the first thing that comes to my head when I think about Covington is Four Corners. Um, so that's Maple Valley. I'm sorry. Maple Valley. <laughs> the first thing that comes to my mind for Maple Valley is Four Corners like the, as, as the main hub. Covington, yep. I think of um, of the shopping center right off, right off of Highway 18. Mm -hmm. um, from the outsider's perspective, that is what I think of when I think of Covington is you, you hop off the freeway there, you've got um, a lot to choose from in, ter in, in, in terms of, of that shopping center. Um, right. You've got the, the Home Depot, you've got the... Uh, Walmart. The Walmart is what I'm so thinking of. Costco. Yeah, the Costco's there. Yeah. You got a lot of great restaurants. The sushi, Trapper Sushi's right down mm -hmm. there. I love Trapper Sushi. Um, that's kind of what I think about with Covington. Yeah. yeah, totally. Yeah, I would agree. I would say the main difference, there's two main differences for me as a you know local there. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more shopping in Covington. So Maple Valley has the Four Corners, which is a good shopping center. It's actually pretty big. So you definitely get what you need as far as like groceries and just regular stores and shops. But Covington's got all the big big box mm -hmm. brands, um, so the big, huge, like the Walmart and the Costco. So it basically has everything you need plus some more. A um, little bit more entertainment probably in that area too. So it's just more of a commercial area there. Um, but the main difference I would say is gonna be school district. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why the prices are a little bit different because these are just sure. touching each other. They're sure. very yeah. close by and they're both actually pretty small towns. But Maple Valley is going to be the um, Tahoma School District, Tahoma High School, good elementaries and middles. And then Covington is going to be the Kent School District, mm -hmm. even though it's not in Kent. And there is a, a pretty big difference between those school districts as far as like ratings go. Um, so that's why, you know, Maple Valley is typically a little bit more pricey than Covington is because that school district changed. So those are, the, I would say, the main differences um, at first glance. Well, Maple Valley, is, I mean, it's it's growing. Covington, yeah. they're both they're both growing right now. Um, which yeah. would you say is kind of growing faster? Well, I think Maple Valley's prices have gone up more in the last mm -hmm. couple of years, um, probably because of the school district. Because people are getting pushed out of like the Bellevue Issaquah sure. area, and this is a pretty good alternative. But you're not sacrificing the school district. Like I said in other videos, if you guys have watched Maple Valley, like I moved to Maple Valley in 2021, so during kind of this COVID thing, um, I did it for that exact reason. You know, mm -hmm. being in Issaquah for the house that I wanted well over a million 1.5 so maple valley you're getting a much better bang for your buck but you're also not giving up the school district tahoma is right yep. up there with like the snow quality it is, yep so it's a good school district whereas yep. covington it's not quite as good i don't want to say kent school district is bad or anything but improving yeah i mean so. as most in the area i think the school districts are improving too and like anything yep. too you know the, the there are pockets within covington that are just they're gorgeous totally um Those new constructions we saw yeah exactly killing. i mean overall though from a housing standpoint Covington is definitely going to be a little bit lower price points um a little bit older on the homes as, as well um mm -hmm. but overall I, I i think they're both you know they are they are both great areas yeah they're and people great. are moving i mean people are getting pushed out yes but the fact that a lot of people are moving to those areas also does speak to to that they are they are still good areas because people are moving out there yeah they're great areas yeah you know that's why we're there sure uh one more thing about the growth so maple valley i think has had more growth but i do think covington is a great investment yeah um because of their new master not master plan community but uh the plaza they're building there i think it's like 7500 different uh housing units a movie theater new commercial center this is huge. right off 18. yep and so anytime there's like a big plan of like multi 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 million dollar you know deal going on it's going to help 
the economy and and just the housing in general there. So I do think Covington has a pretty big upside, maybe more than Maple Valley. Yeah, it's going to change the landscape. Like in the next 10 years, for sure. example. Um, so both, yeah, both have good growth. I think Maple Valley takes the cake for most recent growth, but I think Covington is going to have actually more growth because it has farther to go and yeah. they have that new development coming in. There's nothing huge mm -hmm. happening in Maple Valley mm -hmm. right now that mm -hmm. I know of that's going to like completely change the landscape like yeah. what they're doing in Covington. Yep. Yep. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. That, that new plaza is going to be, that's going to be pretty cool. insane. Yeah. Maybe we'll <laughs> show you on the screen It'll here be pretty uh, awesome. a little 3D rendering, but it's going to yeah. be awesome. So in these videos in the past, we've done like pricing, cost of living, yep. um, things to do, entertainment, you know, trails and stuff like that. Let's see anything else we can think of for, th well, for things to do. So yeah, things to do. Um, I mean, for me, again, I, I'm, also slightly biased because Covington is where I had my first job. Mm, that's right. So I yeah. think, you know, um, I, I relate Covington with some work. Um, they both have they both have land. They both have parks. They both have the yeah. the, the trails and the lakes they to go lakes, to. Yeah. yeah, they both have that outdoor feel, similar to a lot of the the suburbs here in the, on the east side. Mm -hmm. um, I, I it's probably a push to some extent on on quote unquote things to do in those neighborhoods, in those yeah. cities. Yeah, I would say you know, it depends what things you're gonna do. Sure. Um, I, th I think Maple Valley has more uh, nature things to do. So like the, the Lake Wilderness Park and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. There is a lake in Covington as well. Um, but I think there's a little bit more parks and trails and stuff. They both have one golf course each, Lake Wilderness Golf Course for Maple Valley, and then Druid's Glen in mm -hmm. Covington. Both are good. Druid's Glen is probably Druid's a better, better golf course for there. that one. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so yeah, but then, yep. the, but then Covington has more restaurants and dining and actual things to do like in a building inside. So I don't yeah, want to call push. it nightlife, but going out, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So push there. Yep. Uh, the cost of living, you know, like we said, Maple Valley is going to be a little bit more expensive, but not like significantly. No. So Covington's going to have a little bit better affordability. Um, of course, mm -hmm. like cost of living between gas and groceries is the exact same. These yep. things are right next to each other. Yep. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we're five minutes away. So yeah. probably pretty dang close. So um, we, talked on, we, touched, we touched on schools, kind of outdoor things. Yep. Uh, Location-wise, does one win out there for you, you think? They're both... On 18, yeah. they both pass through 18, uh, Highway 18. So, but most people aren't. Then that's not taking them to direct to a location they're probably working. So, if you're someone who works in either Seattle or Bellevue, um, gosh, they're pretty close. Covington yeah. technically is farther uh, west, so it technically would be closer. Little, but I think yeah. going uh, with Maple Valley Highway yeah. is probably gonna you're gonna go that way both ways, unless you're going like Tacoma, then Covington would be better. I don't. Know. I think of them as about the same. Yeah, basically. Yeah, there's no real benefit either way. I mean, you can go some back roads, but at the end of the day, I guess yeah, Covington. If you're, yeah, closer. It's a it's 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 about five or ten minutes closer, I guess. Yeah. Um, but again. That that's once you're on the freeway, or like that's once you're to 18, you know, too. Right, so, right. Um, so yeah, that's a push. Pretty much there. the same. Yeah, much push there. And yeah, unless you're going, of course, <laughs> over the mountains, or not over the mountains, but over into Snoqualmie, then you know you're gonna be a little bit closer from yep. Maple Valley side. But that's yep. it. Yep. Uh, yeah. So that's kind of that's basically it. I would yeah. say the recap is kind of the first thing I said. Like the the main difference and the reason that people will go to one or the other is gonna be based on probably their pricing. How, how much they weigh the the importance of pricing versus school district. That's going to be like the decision in people's head. Like we get a better house, you know, or more affordability in Covington, but we are losing or giving up a little bit on the school district because they are, they are different. Mm -hmm. And someone who puts more value on the school district, um, but they're going to pay a little bit more for the house, then they're probably going to choose Maple Valley. That's like the... Mm -hmm. That's what I see as the main like deciding factor sure. for the people that are sure. interested. Sure. Overall, yep. Overall, I mean, unless of Pretty course, much. yeah, unless unless work is pulling you one way or the other. I know I've got some buyers right now that they're yep. really looking at that Covington Kent border because of work specifically. But of course, that's always right. going to be specific to the buyer. But overall, yep. I would agree. Yep. So that's pretty much it. If this is your first time, you guys, first video, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're looking at either of these two cities, we have playlists or any other cities in King County. They're all uh, organized in playlists on the channel. So you can be sure to check out all the ones that you're interested in. We do most all of King County. Um, so remember to hit the subscribe, uh, tap the bell for notifications. And we're here to help. So we were born and raised in the area. We know the area like the back of our hands, all the nooks and crannies. We live here now. So when you're at the right time to start actually making your search, contact info is below. We'd love to help you make a smooth move to King County.